I am 38 and my wife is 41. We have two small children. One day she found out about my infidelity. After a scandal she moved out on me. Life was hard for both of us and we were unhappy. I loved my wife more than anything in the world and losing her was agonizing. After months of separation, I begged her to come back. We decided to take our time, see a therapist and work on rebuilding our life together. A year later, she moved back in with me and everything seemed to be back to normal. In fact, our relationship became even stronger and we were very happy together. I felt like our life was perfect again. However, about a week ago, a man showed up at my apartment. When I opened the door, he looked confused and then apologized, saying he had mixed up the days. The next day I was supposed to fly with our children to visit my parents who live in another state. She talked to the man for about five minutes and he left. I asked her who he was and she said it was just a friend who came to pick her up because I was supposed to be at my parents' house. I was shocked and asked her directly if she was sleeping with him. To my surprise, she was incredibly unfazed. She looked at me for a minute and calmly admitted it, saying that they have been sleeping together since we got back together. She pretended it was perfectly normal and asked why I was allowed to cheat and she wasn't. I canceled my trip to stay home with her, but she said she had already planned it. I got very upset and started yelling at her, to which she replied that if I didn't like it then maybe we shouldn't be together. She even mentioned the possibility of divorce if I kept yelling. I realized that she had not forgiven my cheating. She was secretly determined to get revenge on me. The situation is incredibly difficult. Trust has been broken on both sides. My wife admitted that she only stayed with me for the sake of the children. All this time, she was creating the appearance of a full-fledged family. Such a difficult decision she made on the advice of my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law said that it would be bad if the children grow up without a father. My wife agreed with her mother, but at the same time, she decided that she would build her own life in parallel. I realized that in this situation, I have only myself to blame. It was me who ruined our marriage.